Hi everyone. Well, I am underneath the 356 here because I was going over some footage from the uh, last episode I did and I filmed underneath the car a little bit and I saw something I didn't like. So here, take a look at this. Now, I don't know how much time I have spent on this front left wheel, but looks like the brakes are leaking again. So look at this, it's all wet here and you can see all of it splurtling out there and looks like up here that it might be leaking out of the back of the lower brake slave cylinder maybe I don't know so I'm gonna take the wheel off we're gonna get inside and see what's up Here we go, the moment of truth. Let's see what's behind here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there's definitely some wetness in there, huh? All this here. I think it's probably coming out. Is it coming out? Maybe it's coming out this. Let's get these brakes off, I guess, and see if it's leaking out of this cylinder and then it's dripping down here. I imagine that's probably what's happening. It's pretty important at this point for us to just double check our pads and to check the inside of the drum. So it all looks nice and dry inside here. It's all, I don't see any wetness on this bit here or against the uh, drum, the, uh, the drum itself. The pads look good as well. They're nice and dry as well. So all that's a really good sign. So I think our leak has just been sort of piddling down here and, and uh, just accumulating down in here. So I imagine it's this cylinder, so let's go ahead and pull it apart and see what's going on with it. And as always, you want to be really careful with brake fluid, get it anywhere near paint, and it takes it right off. Now we have to get that piston out. Alright, so the best way to get the piston out is actually to hit the brakes. So if I hit the brakes though, um, this one's going to come flying out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put a clamp on this one and uh, put something down here to sort of catch this thing as it comes out. So here we go. There it is. Out you go. Huh? All right, super easy way to get this little guy out. You try to dig this thing out, it'll drive you crazy. So let's take a look at this. It looks fine. My plunger and spring looks fine. So I'm going to hone this cylinder a little bit. I've got a, what is it, a long 13 millimeter socket that I've wrapped some 320 grit sandpaper around. And I'm just going to spin it in here until I can get rid of some of this rust, corrosion, whatever it is that's in here that's causing this piston to leak. So I'm going to give this a try and see if this takes care of it. Feels pretty good. And the brake fluid helps lubricate this, so that actually works really well. I've done about as much as I can with my socket and my sandpaper. So I've cleaned it out completely and hit the brakes a little bit to flush it out as well, get a little bit of brake fluid flowing through there. Next step is to go ahead and put our piston back together. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I want to maybe put a, a clamp on it, I think. I need to bleed this anyways. It'd be great to be able to sort of bleed it a bit with it um, where it's exposed like this where I can actually see it. And then I want to see if I'm leaking at all. So I'm going to clean things up. I'm going to put my piston back in, clean things up a bit, and we'll go ahead and test it. 
Okay, well we've tested this and with the clamp on it and it appears to be dry all around. So I, that's a very good sign. So I'm kind of hoping that we're in a good place here. I'm just going to go ahead and reassemble the rest of the brakes. I'm not sure what else to do at this point. And we'll drive the car a little bit and I'll just keep a, a close watch on it. It's pretty obvious as you saw in the opening scene where the, 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 the stuff all over the place on the back of the wheels. I'll clean all that up and we'll just go ahead and put it all back together. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get right to them. Uh, thanks so, so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the rest of this back together. So welcome to watch that if you'd like. But until next time, safe travels. Bye.